What are you passionate about? Are you happy? Are you really happy? Do you trust your own instinct? What is your perception of God? Are you the best version of yourself? This is Conversations We Never Had, hosted by Wendy. And I'm so excited to be sitting down with Mona Munyani. Who is Mona? What is your very essence? Um, I'm innovative and creative and um, tenacious and strong and I am, you know, raw. I, I want to say sensitive, but I think that takes away from raw yeah. and very much, um, let's say, open, you know, to listening to what it is I'm supposed to be learning at this stage. You know, so yeah, I guess that's the essence of who I am. You spoke a little bit about sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Are you sensitive though? I am extremely, extremely sensitive. Yeah. You know, I think the the those of us who appear the strongest mm -hmm. externally are usually the most sensitive internally, mm -hmm. because we are a product of the elements. You know, and we are usually put through the most mm -hmm. and expected to overcome instantly mm -hmm. and not really given the kind of sensitivity mm -hmm. that those who appear to be sensitive will be given, you mm -hmm. know. So you stay with this unresolved energy mm -hmm. where you have to be your own rock but mm -hmm. appear to be strong and, you know. So yeah, I, I guess I am very sensitive. What is the one thing that people don't know about Simona? Uh, what happened though that I have not made public is yeah. the death of my second child, mm -hmm. you know? And I chose not to because, my God, mm -hmm. the pregnancy already was under so much criticism, mm -hmm. you know? And I found myself having to defend um, one of the most beautiful things I've ever experienced, and that's motherhood. Yeah. And uh, when seven days later my baby passes in my arms, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, what's going on? You know? So we're talking about spirituality and I'm thinking, I'm like, God, what happened? Where are you? I don't know. You know, it was very sudden. It was very sudden and then it was done. But again, when you speak of spirituality and knowing, I guess I always knew. I saw the signs, I always knew, I heard the messages, that this was an angel bringing a message and leaving, not necessarily staying. But you deny it to yourself, because you're thinking, maybe it's postpartum depression, maybe it's stress. Um, and you start blaming yourself, because it's almost yeah, like, you're like no, it's my fault. But then on the other what side, what have I not done? Yeah. You go through it. Yeah. For me, I, I asked, I asked a lot of questions. Um, obviously, you ask why, mm -hmm. and the first answer you get is why, why not, literally. Um, why me, mm -hmm. and then if not you, then who else? Then who else? Who's deserving of that? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then you, you literally answer it with why when you say, am I living? It's, it's a cruel thing, spirituality. Mm -hmm. you, I'm, I'm an African. I, mm. I believe in the Trinity, mm -hmm. Ramasid, mm. Mohale, mm. Motsamaye, it's actually four, Lemoya, mm -hmm. So you have the Father God, the Mother God, the Son, yes. and then you have the Holy Spirit. This is God, this is the identity that is physically expressed in this world, right? And then you have the Yumbaha, which are your guardians, mm -hmm. you know? Those that you say, look out for me. You know, it's, it's a rough world. There's some things that, you know, I'm going to go past. Like, look out for me. And for me, that was the first people I was like, but what is going on? And where were you? I want to know, how do you feel at this point, right now, at this moment? I feel every emotion mm -hmm. to its fullest capacity. Okay. Um, and you are overwhelmed with the sense of, I need to fulfill this purpose. I have, I have a purpose to fulfill. I need mm -hmm. to fulfill this purpose. And you just get to this point where you're like, I'm so tired though, you know? I need a break, I need to just... You know what was um, the biggest thing is 
you lose a child and people expect you to get over it right yes. yeah they'll tell you i mean not only i'm sad not only losing a child but nj just yeah when you're in the midst of darkness everyone just yeah. has to see get over it now right now and you're like So I'm conflicted as well. Um, I I sit and I'm like, because you get questions, how's the baby and things like that, and you're like, I don't owe anybody my truth. Mm. However, I am in a position where I represent a certain demographic. You know, there are people that I've um, connected with who have gone through a similar loss. And you see the comfort that we get from each other, you know. What is your idea of God? Whew. I'm interrogating that. I'm actively, actually researching that and mm -hmm. interrogating it for myself. Mm -hmm. um, because one, God is not white. Mm -hmm. um, God is not an angry, vengeful, right? jealous weirdo. The way they paint him, like I'm gonna make you, but I'm gonna I'm judge gonna make everything you that you do. Yes, and then I'm gonna condemn you to hell. No. Yeah. Um, uh, I think God is much closer to self. Okay. I think uh, there's certain things because you know, and, and when you think of God, you immediately go into Christianity because that's what we've been indoctrinated to believe, mm -hmm. and you—that's your main frame of reference. Reference, yes. You know, where it will be different in North Africa, it will be uh, Islam. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some people Judaism. You know, Hinduism, and that's my thing. I'm an African spiritualist, mm -hmm. so I literally am trying to define that and outside of knowing mm -hmm. you know god is is not a word it's not something you can explain and Ooh. write and package in a book and Ooh. sell Ooh. first and foremost yeah. it's a feeling it's a knowing it's a spiritual connection to everything mm. besides just human beings mm. you know so it's everything is all encompassing god is all encompassing mm. but i need to find a way to define it outside of is systematic I see. I religion. See. I, you see. Know? Yeah. I see. What is your relationship with God? You've said um, God is close to self. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should ask, what is your relationship with yourself? You know, I think because I was raised without my father, I position God as a father figure. Okay. Um, I do. However, having become a mother, mm -hmm. I am very much now aware of God is a mother, mm -hmm. um, and then having seen my child, God is a child, yes. and then the spirit that ties everything together. Um, but it's it's this. You know what's beautiful is it's a non-judgmental space, mm -hmm. whatever that relationship is, and it's a it's a it's like someone who's got your back, man. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. when you are like, no, actually, hey, child, leave me alone, and they're chilling. They're going, okay, I'll wait for you. Yeah. Why do you think we are all here? Why? Are, what is the purpose of human experience? L uh, learning. Learning. Yeah. Mm. It's learning. We need to understand ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, life is definitely a, a, it's a system of lessons, and it's a system of exploration and ascension. Okay. So I, I, I honestly believe that as spirits we come back many a times, mm. you know, and it's it's difficult in the physical to to really understand, understand that. that. Yeah, it's <laughs> over. Oh, I like that. Girl, understand that. that. Yeah. When, you know, as it, when people pass physically, they're not there, but you have to understand the spirit returns Ooh. and it ascends and yeah. it grows yeah. and it interrogates different aspects of self. Yeah. That's God. It's like it's a spiritual entity that just mm. keeps interrogating keeps yeah. growing yeah. and that's why we're here we need to grow mm. guys mm. we are here to work we're here to work we're here to do a job you know and people say why do bad things happen because you need to learn mm. Mm. you need to learn mm -hmm. and i'm sitting there learning the strength yeah. of a black woman mm -hmm. because of my life experiences mm -hmm. i've literally been through everything been raped, I've been molested, I grew up without a father, I had a very tumultuous relationship with my mother, I've been through bullying, mm. I've been through, hey, you know when you sit there, you're like, oh, actually, my goodness, it's a bit too much, ha! and then when I lost my child, I was like, ah, sham, mm. I know that I'm puppy, mm. you know, mm. but then I'm like, yeah, but this is, this is who you are, this is yeah. who you need to grow into, it's your purpose, this is who you need to become, yeah. and that's why yeah. we are here, yeah. We need to learn and we need to be challenged. When you polish a diamond, you put it under hectic, 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 yes. hectic, hectic conditions yeah. in order to get the finished product. Yeah. You're not going to gently caress it mm. into becoming 
the final product that it's yeah. meant to be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What do you think happens when you die? There is no death. There is no um, death. And a lot of the, the, the readings I'm doing now that explain our spirituality mm. outside of you know the confines of religion, mm. it, there is no sense of beginning or ending. Okay. It's just a renewal. A renewal. Ne? So mm. you don't die. Mm -hmm. The spirit is, it, it doesn't die. The flesh dies. Yeah. That's what dies. That's mm -hmm. what ends, mm -hmm. is the flesh. Mm -hmm. But your spirit just doesn't die. What is your spiritual practice? Um, like I said, I have a spirituality. Yeah. I do pray. Yeah. I don't read the Bible. So you pray? I do. Yeah. Um, it's a meditation mm -hmm. as well. I do also um, look into palmistry. I look into astrology, mm -hmm. um, uh, tarot cards. Uh, because you know we throw bones and things. I'm not a sound man. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't over well gone through the twasering process or whatever. But okay. I, I at some point they'll tell me where to go. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm a visual person, so science. Rabon um, You know, I guess when you become when you stop running away mm -hmm. from who you are as an African in your spirituality, and you say, okay, uh, show me. Yeah. Prove it to me, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, already, I dream things about people. Mm -hmm. I'll sit with somebody, and then and I feel just, an energy. Yes. And, you know, it's it's like I, I need to get to a spot where I use my platform to demystify what it is to be an African, yeah. and to be Moto mm -hmm. and to be a Samoma, and to be a spiritual healer, mm -hmm. and a herbalist, and all of those different expressions, right? Yeah. Um, but right now, that's what that's where I'm at. I'm just sort of like trying to unlearn the mental restrictions. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I found that I can even judge myself as a bad person, you know, because I've been taught that, no, it's wrong, it doesn't make sense. Mm. You know, uh, mm. you can't say, you know my grandfather, you never met him, and yet I'm sitting here telling you that your grandfather is sitting in front of you, like mm. you see how he's chilling, and he has a, a table and a, a plate, and mm. I describe, and then be like, oh my gosh, yes, that was his favorite thing to do. And I'm mm. like, yeah, he's, he's making sure you're okay. Do you get what I'm saying? And then I'm sitting there in the middle of stones, yeah. crying out loud, or like yeah. in seventh girl, yeah. you know? And I'm 22, and I'm like, what? You know? So nobody can come and tell me that this is nonsense or witchcraft or mm. this is evil. We're told that is evil and we just need mm. to redefine and re and understand mm. what it is. I mean, people mm. judge because of they don't understand. I say, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really, you, you can't. You yeah. have to save your energy yeah. for the things that matter. I'm on a journey right now mm. and I'm listening. It's the most humbling thing in the world mm. to sit there and be like, things are possible. Yeah. You know, when you sit and you, you, you for instance, witchcraft and things that we've been taught are a fairy tale, mm. are not real. Mm. And then you are confronted with it face on and then you have to sort of think outside of this box that you have been brought up in. Yeah. And it's so frightening. I can imagine. It is so frightening, yeah. but at the same time, it is so absolutely necessary. So mm. I'm, I'm, I've, I'm, I guess I cannot even put a word to it at mm. this stage because yeah. it's still a discovery, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you had an opportunity to write a letter to your baby mm -hmm. that um, passed away, mm -hmm. what would you say and what would you include in that letter? Um, again, I'm not a big words person, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, when you're a storyteller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she knows, you know? I think that's where the beauty of us as black people lies, is that we can understand beyond words. Mm. Um, we're spiritually intertwined and connected in mm. ways that do not rely Mm. on spoken or written text to express. We can literally just go, yo! And that would say a lot. And we know exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you're like... Yeah, hey, girl. And you're done. Yes. You know? Would you say that was your biggest loss? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what loss is anymore. You know pain. Yes. But loss, it implies that I am less in some way. Mm -hmm. It means something has been taken from, from me, me and I'm lacking. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I don't lack right now. I don't lack. I feel, <laughs> even to a point, like I'm, I'm over, mm -hmm. you know, this 
like too much now. I'm like, okay, but I've gained something experience, I've yes. gained um, insight, I've mm-hmm. gained self. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't recognize myself. I literally will look in the mirror and I don't recognize myself. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow, this woman, who is she? You know, mm. I like her. Okay. I'm liking who I'm becoming. Oh, yeah, that was yes. you, girl. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, no, I don't think we lose. Hey. Mm. You spoke a little bit about being angry. Mm. I want to know do you find it easy to forgive? Yo, what is forgiveness, Wendy? I think forgiveness is letting go of an idea that mm. could have been. Just mm. like. Mm. Let it flow. It's mm. fine. It's okay and move on. Mm. Do you find it easy? My gosh. If you put it like that, honey. Mm-mm. No. Oh, I hold on. Ooh. I'm, I'm pedantic. I'm mm. OCD in certain aspects. I'm a perfectionist. I mm. hate failing. Mm. Ooh, I'm hard on myself. Ne? Mm. I don't tolerate weakness. And for me, that's the biggest thing. I was weak. You know? Mm. <sighs> So that's the, the idea I struggle to let go of. The makeup. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You just get to the point where you're like, it's, it's, um, it's intolerable. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's where I'm at. Mm. I guess right now I'm pushing myself mm. even more because I'm like, you are the mother. Mm. You do not. Oh. But I mean, it also goes back in understanding what failure is. You never really fail in life. You learn. <sighs> it's a process. It's a learning curve. And I think it's, it's about time that we change our thinking around situations because that's what defines, that's the difference. I agree, yeah. I do. It's just, yeah. You know, somebody told me something about a fantastic flaw. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend of mine, Kinsani, used to live in Thailand. Mm-hmm. She used to teach there. Yeah. And they have this concept of a fantastic flaw. It's this one thing, yeah. the, this thing that you have as a person that is either to your detriment or to your gain. Yeah. I don't tolerate weakness. It's my fantastic flaw. Mm. I, I, I don't, I think it's, you know, when I get sick, I don't tolerate it. Mm. I don't like medicine. It's, you know when you go to a hospital or you take medicine, you're, yeah. you're, you're doubting your own ability yes. to heal. It's yes. like, you and, know. And almost, mm. you, you kind of like, you don't want to experience pain. You just want to no, be numb. You, you just want to be like, yeah. you don't have time. Yeah. You don't have time for nonsense, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm that person, I'm like, I actually don't have time to be failing anything. Yeah. You know, like I've yeah. said, I, I have a goal and I achieve it. Yes. So when you sit there and you're like, my goal is to, mm-hmm. it, my birth took five hours. Ne? But it, it, it just took me, I contracted the, sure. the day before and then we chilled. Mm-hmm. So I was like dilated and she was chilling. Mm-hmm. So there I am walking around and I'm like, okay, listen, your sister, it was 17 hours of pain. I'm not about that life. You're going to get out of here quick fast. And you listen and the body yeah. listens. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you tell it to do something, it does it. Mm-hmm. When you tell yourself, I'm going to achieve this, you do it. So for me, I'm sitting here going, but what is this now? Mm-hmm. Mm. What is this? Mm. You know, and that's the, the 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 forgiveness that I'm struggling with is to let go of that idea that you as a parent mm. can protect your children. Do you get what I'm sure. saying? And I'm young, Joe, and I look at I've I've seen people who have lost kids, and I've sat there and I've been like, yo, I could never imagine it. No. And it is exactly that. It's, you know, the pain is not even, I guess the pain of losing a child can go and or heal, but yeah. the disappointment in yourself, mm. to be like, I did not protect my child. It must always be us. Sure. It must always be us. So for me, it was always that I'm like, you take me. Mm. You do it to me. You do not touch my children. Mm. Whatever it is. You want something to die? Here it is. Okay? You want someone to be hurt? Here. You know? Um... Ugh, I, it's my, I, girl, yeah. it's that thing that you just want to put it straight. Yeah. And it just, it's it not just going straight. It just doesn't. It's not going straight, man. 
and I have to now learn to let go. Yes. And let God. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes to the last question, which says, what do you hope for? Um, going forward with all the, um, the questions that you have um, about life and just how angry you are about certain things, what do you hope for going forward? Mm. You know, yeah, it's a difficult one, that one. Mm. Hope means that I want to see an outcome that is desirable to me. Yeah. And not necessarily an outcome that is meant to me. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I hope I leave this earth empty. Whatever it is, whatever it is that I'm here for, mm. may I fulfill that. I really hope so. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, too many people, great, 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 have left with everything mm -hmm. that they came here with. Mm -hmm. They've left nothing behind, mm -hmm. you know? And I just want to be that person who people can say, she was here. Yeah. You know, I have that song. Oh my yeah. God, I was here. Oh, that's, that's my mom's, mom's song. song. <laughs> I live. But, but yeah. I was here. Yeah. And when I leave, Besides my children, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave my children. I want to have left empty. I want to have left um, an army. I'm trying to build an army of women mm -hmm. who don't doubt themselves. They don't question their power. Yeah. Who unapologetically, unashamedly express their mm -hmm. magic, their phenomenal strength. This has been an experience having to sit down with you and hear your truth. It's valid. I mean, everything you've said, you took me to a beautiful journey about self-discovery because I'm doing this because I want to find out. I've got questions. Yes. And I think you've answered some of the questions. Okay. And I'm so glad that you came and um, shared this platform with me and my journey as well. I'm proud of you. Thank you. This was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Deep in our souls, they make us who we are. All the pain, the things that bring us down, the darkness and the light that we carry. Conversations we never had.